Hello everybody, I'm Ilthan, and this is our raid guide for the Cho'Gal encounter within the Bastion of Twilight. Today we will be covering every detail that you need to know to defeat him. If you wish to see other raid boss guides, make sure to visit our YouTube channel, as well as our blog for more detailed information. Cho'Gal is the endgame boss of the Bastion of Twilight raid instance. This fight is one of the most intense encounters so far in this expansion and you will need players to react instantly to a wide variety of abilities he will be casting constantly throughout the encounter. The main mechanic of this fight will be a corruption bar that will appear on top of your action bars. If you get hit by any of Cho'Gal's abilities, your corruption bar will slowly raise and give you a wide variety of debuffs as it does. Once you reach 25 Corruption, you will instantly receive a dispellable debuff called Accelerated Corruption, which must be dispelled instantly. This debuff causes its target to gain more Corruption every 2 seconds. Don't hesitate to dispel it right away. At 50 Corruption, you will be inflicted with Dark Sickness and start vomiting, dealing damage to nearby allies in a 5-yard frontal cone and giving them additional stacks of Corruption. Should you get hit by this debuff, you will need to position yourself away from others at all times. At 75 Corruption, tentacles will spawn on your back and begin casting Shadow Elf Volley, heavily increasing the raid damage. Ideally, you will never be this high in Corruption. Finally, once you reach 100 Corruption, your casts will be instant, you will deal 100% more damage, and you will not receive any healing whatsoever, so you will die. Besides that, Gaining Corruption also increases the rate damage you take, so your main goal during the encounter is to avoid Corruption at all costs. Ok, Phase 1. Chogal will have two different stances, and he will swap every 20 seconds. Whenever this happens, you will see him summon an elemental and absorb it. This will be to let you know which stance you will be facing. When he absorbs a fire elemental, Chogal will gain flame orders which causes him to deal additional 25k fire damage on every successful hit and spawning random fire patches on the floor. Move out of these. Whenever he absorbs Shadow Elemental, he will gain Shadow Sorters, which will cause him to deal heavy AoE damage on your group. 3 ticks per face. Whenever this happens, your healers should not panic. He will only tick three times with Shadow Sorters, so you should not use big healing cooldowns. Just keep everyone alive and slowly bring them back to full. Chogal will also very often mind control several group members. They will then begin to worship Chogal, giving him a stacking buff that increases all his damage by 10% per stack. You will need to interrupt your raid members instantly to break the mind control so that Chogal doesn't gain any extra buffs. Keep in mind that any form of crowd control will work, as well as any other interrupt. For our attempts, we had a protection paladin with Shield of Righteousness, as well as Solar Beam, and many other melee interrupters ready. Ideally, you should avoid long interrupts as well as crowd control, as you will need your raid members ready to play once the cast is interrupted. Crowd control abilities will only render them useless for an even longer period of time. To deal with the mind control, our group was always stacked up right behind Chogol, so that we could get all the interrupts with range, as well as many other abilities such as Solar Beam, Shockwave, Shield of the Righteous, and others. Chogol will also debuff the current tank with Fury of Chogol, which increases physical and shadow damage taken by 20%. Your tanks should be ready to swap instantly as he casts it, otherwise the damage combined with his stances will overwhelm your healers. Right after he casts Fury of Chogol, he will summon a corrupted adherent from one of the sides of the room. As your tank swaps, the one with the debuff will have to instantly pick this ad, and your group should instantly spread out and be ready to deal with a new set of abilities. Corrupted adherents will often cast a Shadow Crash type of missile. This is completely avoidable and you should spread out and be far away from it so that you have time to avoid it. The missile will always pick ranged classes over melee just like General Base Axe. Be on the lookout for these. They will also cast the Pravity, which deals AoE damage and increases corruption to nearby targets. The ability is interruptible and you will need to assign two raid members for this task. On our attempts, we had a tank always get the first one and all the melee attempt to get the second, because it is impossible to tell who will be getting mind controlled. 
while avoiding the shadow crashes and interrupting the brevity as well as breaking mind-controlled allies, you will also need to slowly kite the corrupted adherent to a defined location, because once they die, they will spill out their blood on the floor. You want to kite and kill all the adherents on the same location to avoid his next ability, which we explain shortly. You have 40 seconds to kill the corrupted adherent before Chogel casts Fester Blood. Fester Blood deals raid damage and will cause the corrupted adherent, if he is alive, to channel massive damage on your group, which will most likely wipe you. If the corrupted adherent is dead, five slimes will spawn from the pool of blood and quickly make their way into your group. These slimes will need to be snared and AoE down instantly. Should they hit any of your members, they will gain more corruption stacks. Always kill them instantly. Right after you finish off the slimes, you should be prepared for a new tank swap, which will come in conjunction with Shadow Sorters and Fester Blood. This will always be the most tense moment of Phase 1. Raid healing will be insane, and your tank will most likely need to rotate cooldowns to keep himself up. At this point, Phase 1 will repeat itself until you reach 25% health. Please note, however, that every new corrupted adherent that you kill will increase the number of slimes that spawn on the next Fester Blood. 5 slimes in the first time, 10 the second, 15 the third, and so on. We discovered that it is best to let the ranged classes deal with the first and second spawn and have the melee maximize damage on Chogol, but after the third corrupted adherent, all of your group members will need to do AoE on the slimes before they hit anybody. Ideally, if everything goes right, you should reach 25% health right after you kill the 4th Corrupted Adherent and 20 slimes. 25% becomes a huge healing and DPS race. Chogal will only continue to cast Fury of Chogal on your tanks and become completely corrupted by the old gods himself. His corruption makes him deal AoE damage every 2 seconds, as well as increase the corruption stacks of everybody in the room. This is completely unavoidable, and you will need to kill Chogol before your healers are completely overwhelmed. Save heroism and major DPS cooldowns for this part. Remember to dispel any debuffs your raid members get at this point, as well as sprinting out and moving away from nearby allies in case you start to vomit and increase raid damage. Chogol will summon Darkened Creations. These are small tentacles with about 150,000 health that channel a nasty debuff on random raid members called Debilitating Beam. This beam reduces all healing and damage done by 75% and increases your corruption over time. You should spread your DPS on all these tentacles and make sure they all remain interrupted and stunned if you can afford it. You need to kill all of these instantly, so that you can jump back on Chogol and finish him before it is too late. Assuming you followed the previous steps, you have now completed the Chogol encounter. Congratulations! This was Ilfen bringing you another LOD Cataclysm Raid Boss Guide. If you want to see other boss guides, make sure to check both our channel and our website, and feel free to join our blog to participate on our discussions. Both links can be found in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching!